Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be breaking down the full details for the uh, new Goku and Piccolo Jr. that are coming for Golden Week this year. Uh, it's going to be a dual Dokkan Fest and the Goku has a standby skill, the first of its kind, on Global at least. And then the Piccolo has a uh, giant form transformation. Now, uh, last night when I did that teaser video reaction, um, I didn't realize that they were going to drop the details for these units literally, I don't know, 15 minutes later, so I'm definitely late to the party, but as I always say, uh, better late than never, so anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Oh, there's also two side units, of course, for these guys. There's a Krillin and also a uh, Tien, so... First things first, before we talk about what these guys do, let's check out their animations, which I haven't seen in full, so you will get my uh, real uh, reaction, I guess. So here we go. Let me just full screen this. I'll turn up the audio a little bit. Uh, let me just throw on an earbud as well. And enjoy, guys. Okay, so first things first, where is the music? Okay, uh, I, I mean, they recently have started putting music behind the animations on uh, the global Twitter account, and now it's gone again. So that's kind of weird. But um, as far as the animation goes, the Krillin looked pretty good, but the Tien has no business being this clean, man. For a non Dokkan Fest banner unit, uh, yo, he looks awesome. He looks amazing. Krillin, just fine. No problem with that. It's a good, solid-looking Kamehameha, right? But dude, <laughs> that Tien animation is is incredible. It, it's it's honestly incredible. So, uh, yeah, Tien is awesome. Now let's move on to the main guys. The Goku, I think, comes first, but we'll see. Yeah, there's the. There's the TN animation. Uh, let me see. Oh, we got the Piccolo Jr. Okay, so here we go. Once again, he has a giant form transformation, which we'll see. And enjoy. I am Demon King Piccolo Reborn. I will once again reign as the world's strongest. Just you wait, I still have my final resort! And the KO screen too. Yo, uh, he looks amazing. Yo, these animations are awesome. And I think not having the music is it, it's a blessing and a curse because in the one uh, on the one hand, I think it's more hype 
when you have that music. But on the other hand, um, it allows you to focus on the animation a little bit more, you know, without the music, I think. So, yeah, overall, um, yeah, great, great animations, man. I got no complaints. I think they did an amazing job with this Piccolo Jr. And uh, now let's check out this Goku. Let's check out Goku. I'm imagining or I'm expecting a very similar level of quality, but we'll find out. Here we go. All right, time to go all out. Forget about destroying this world. I won't let it happen. Good thing is, you've missed my vital organs. I told you. I was right. I was right. Yo, <laughs> I love these animations, man. I really do. Um, I just, I, I've been craving more Dragon Ball content, man. And uh, this is as good as it gets. Honestly, it's, it's as good as it gets. And I just love like the, I think it's the facial expressions, man. It's the facial expressions that get me on these attacks. They like that, that one right there. Like they, uh, they crushed it. They crushed it. Shout out to Bandai. Shout out to Akatsuki. Shout out to the team that's responsible for these animations. I just wish there was music behind, uh, you know, in these videos just to like make it a little bit more exciting. But you know what? It's fine. We'll hear it in the game. And that's the most important part, right? So um, there you have it, man. We got the Goku. We got the Piccolo. We got the Krillin and also the Tien. Now let's talk about what they do because we've already spent way too much time on these animations let me know in the comments what you guys think about them how you guys reacted to them but uh starting with the goku here his leader skill is earth bread fighters or powerful comeback category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 170 percent plus an additional hp attack and defense plus 30 percent for characters who also belong to the battle of fate or world tournament category um okay decent leader skill decent leader skill uh powerful comeback i think is a uh, solid Earthbred Fighters um, is a pretty sizable category, and uh, you should be able to get a quite a few like World Tournament crossover with Earthbred Fighters. So it's not it's not a bad leader skill. It's not bad. Uh, passive is uh, activates the entrance animation upon entry once only. Guards all attacks for one turn from start of turn. Interesting. Key plus 2, attack and defense plus 101% for 5 turns from start of turn. Key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack received up to 100%. Attacks effective against all types. When facing only one enemy, high chance of nullifying key blast super attacks directed at the character. High chance of guarding all attacks. Um, that's 50%, uh, not great. So after the first turn, which is guaranteed guard, it only goes down to, or it goes down to only 50% to guard, which uh, I don't love. Launch is an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack for four turns when guard is activated, plus an additional defense plus 20% whenever guard is activated up to 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 150%, launches an additional super attack and guards all attacks starting from the turn in which the characters or an ally's revival skill 
is activated. So uh, that would be when you uh, do the standby skill and then you die, get the revival skill. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. But um, in this form, this Goku, I mean, he looks to be very good. He looks to be very good. It looks like he he's going to take a little bit to build up, which is never ideal. You always want the character to be uh, at or close to their maximum effectiveness, I guess, uh, early on in the fight. But um, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. I mean, you'll build up this defense probably within a turn or two. Uh, this attack and defense might take a little bit longer, but... Uh, it, sh it should be okay. It should be okay. And I do like the fact he gets, you know, this guaranteed guard and also a guaranteed additional super and a bunch more attack and defense after you use that revival skill. So, yeah, he's looking very good. He's looking very, very strong. Uh, links are on the family. Tournament, World Tournament Champion, Saiyan Saga, Infighter, Incredible Adventure, Guide of the Dragon Balls, and Fierce Battle. And uh, let's talk about the standby skill. So you can activate this when HP is 59% or less starting from the 6th turn from start of turn once only. Um, not the greatest condition. I, I guess it makes sense because, you know, 59% Goku, right? 5-9 Goku. Um, but it's 59%, which is quite low combined with 6th turn, which is also a pretty long time, you know, all things considered. And the effect is stand by, stands by for four turns. Uh, categories, Earth Bread Fighters, Power for Comeback, Battle of Fate, World Tournament, Low Class Warrior, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, Bond of Parent and Child, Full Power, and Kamehameha. And then Super Attack. Uh, you know what, let's go to the next page here. Uh, Super Attack greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage, and lowers attack. Okay, so as far as the... Standby skill goes, you will become this Goku in a standby. And of course, he has the same leader skill, but his passive is unable to attack except when finish effect is activated. All allies keep plus 3, attack plus 59%, which is amazing. Uh, Earth Bread Fighters, category allies, defense plus 50%, self excluded. World Tournament, category allies, defense plus 50%, self excluded. For seize enemy super attack, revives with 59% HP recovered when the character or an ally attacking the same turn is KO'd, plus an additional attack plus 590% when finish effect is activated. So essentially, he's a support unit, but you can see where the super attack is, so you want him to die because you want him to activate this finish effect, which only activates when you uh, you know get the revival skill when you die. So um, you can just place him in front of wherever that super attack is, basically. And let's see, finish effect, finish effect. Um, the condition is activated when the character's revival skill is activated and the effect is counters with super intense power. I don't even know what that multiplier is. I don't even know what the percentage is, but it's probably a lot uh, against the enemy who KO'd the character or an ally attacking in the same turn. And keep in mind, you are getting the additional 590% attack. So this this counter uh, finish effect is going to be doing like a bajillion damage. I don't know the exact numbers. I don't know the exact figures. But all I can tell you is it's going to hit hard. It's most likely going to KO. I mean, most enemies you're facing, except for the hardest ones, maybe. But it's going to do a lot of damage, a lot of damage. And uh, if they survive, you go back to this Goku who now gets, uh, my bad, let me go back here, who now gets, you know, the additional attack and defense plus 50%, guaranteed additional super, uh, guaranteed guard, so you're going to be, like, way more powerful, um, and probably kill them, like, the next time you come around, so, yeah, this Goku looks like he's going to be fun, he looks like a really, really fun unit, guys, I'm, I'm stoked for this, uh, for this Goku for sure. And also just for the fact this is the first revival skill on, on Global. Um, you know, JP's had it for since the anniversary, but we have never received a, a, did I say revival skill or standby skill? We have never received a standby skill character up until now. It's a new mechanic for Global players. So that's of course extra exciting. And definitely makes me want the Goku more than the Piccolo Jr. Because of course Piccolo Jr. is awesome, but, um, it's, it's not a new mechanic, right? Giant form we've had forever. 
But anyways, moving on to the giant form, uh, Piccolo Jr. Leader skill is Gifted Warriors, Terrifying Conquerors, or Giant Form. Key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30%. For characters who also belong to the Battle of Fate or World Tournament category. Uh, passive is Demon King's Grudge, activates the entrance animation. Upon entry, once only, high chance of launching an additional super attack for one turn from start of turn. Key plus 2, attack and defense plus 101% for 5 turns from start of turn. Key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each super attack performed up to 100%. Attacks effective against all types when facing only one enemy, medium chance of launching an additional super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% within the same turn after receiving an attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% and all enemies attack and defense minus 30% as the first attacker in a turn. So that's actually a pretty substantial debuff for the enemy. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, and high chance of launching an additional super attack as the second or third attacker in a turn. Turns into giant form when conditions are met. Um, okay, so from what I can tell, he is getting just all the attack and defense boosts. He's getting a ton of attack and defense everywhere. Um, attacks effective against all types when facing one enemy is going to make him hit extra hard for sure. And of course, most events of the game are single target uh, or one enemy, uh, you know, fights, right? So you're going to get that a lot. Um, medium chance to launch additional super attack. Uh, high chance of launching additional super attack for one turn. That's only for the first turn, though. Um... High chance of launching an additional super attack as a second or third attacker. So he can launch probably like five supers on the first turn, and then at least four supers. Um, I mean, up to four supers, that is, uh, you know, in subsequent turns. So both these guys are going to be supering a lot. They're going to be attacking a ton. So you don't have to worry too much about, you know, building up this attack and defense here up to 100% because you just need five supers. That's most likely going to be achieved in the first two appearances for this guy. Um, so just like the Goku, I, I really like what I see here. I think this Piccolo Jr. is going to be a monster. I, I really think he's going to be um, it's extremely impressive. So uh, moving on to the links, big bad bosses, tough as nails, thirst for conquest, incredible adventure, goddess of the dragon balls, transform, and fierce battle. And from there we have, uh, let's talk about these categories, gifted warriors, terrifying conquerors, giant form, battle of fate, world tournament, Namekian, target Goku, revenge, entrusted will, worldwide chaos, uh, earth bridge fighters, and final trump card. The active skill is super explosive wave, can be activated when HP is 50% or less starting from the fourth turn from start of battle or when facing two or more enemies. Okay, so you do have this Yeah, you do have this multiple uh, enemy condition where if you're on like Super Battle Road or you're on um, World Tournament, you can literally activate it turn one. So that's really nice. It's nice to have that option of like being able to use this literally on the first turn. Um, and then otherwise, uh, it's going to take a little bit more effort, but I mean, 50% is low, but fourth turn is nice. So it's a bit of a balance. I think it's not a bad condition. Uh, the effect is massively raises attack temporarily and causes mega cost of damage to all enemies, disables an action of every enemy once within the turn. Every enemy disables an action. So not just the one you're targeting. I guess technically it's multi-target anyway, so it makes sense. So every single enemy loses an attack. Uh, that's that's pretty cool and then we have these uh, well we have the super attack which raises attack and defense for one turn it causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning and then we have the giant form or the uh, transformation uh, turns into giant form when HP is 60% or less starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only and I don't think it says how many turns it just says it will deactivate after a certain number of turns I'm assuming it's one to two turns most likely but this is the giant form Piccolo Jr. Um, the effect for the passive here is key plus three attacks effective against all types and high chance 
uh, performing a critical, which is pretty nice for a uh, giant form. And once again, uh, I think it's only going to be like two or three turns at most, but maybe, maybe more than that. I mean, one to two turns at most, possibly up to three. We'll see. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's like a orange piccolo situation, but uh, I'm thinking probably one to two. Uh, super attack effect massively raises attack temporarily and causes destructive damage. And that's it for the Piccolo. So yeah, he is great. He, he looks great. I, I'm not as excited for him as the Goku. I think the Goku is superior, but that, that might just be the standby skill kind of clouding my judgment because it takes a long time to get that uh, uh, standby skill going as well. So maybe Giant Form Piccolo is better in shorter events, whereas Goku is better in longer events where you can get the standby skill, you can get the revival skill, and then get the boost from the revival skill as well. Um, that's how I'm feeling right now, I could be wrong. I mean, if you guys have other opinions, definitely let me know in the comments, but I'm thinking Goku's probably better short term, or sorry, long term, whereas Piccolo is better short term, or short to medium, possibly. But he's probably still good in long term events as well. They're, they're both good. <laughs> they're both very, very good. Uh, now let's quickly cover the Krillin and uh, Tien because we are spending too much time here. Uh, Krillin, leader skill Kamehameha or World Tournament, keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 100%. When performing a super attack, World Tournament category allies, keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 40%. I like that. Key plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% and high chance of performing a critical hit for 4 turns after receiving an attack. Reduces damage received by 20% plus an additional ooh, damage reduction of 20% before attacking, and then plus an additional damage reduction of 20% when facing only one enemy. Yo, this, this Krillin can be an incredible slot 1 unit, I just, I just realized. I mean, he's a support unit though, so you're probably not going to be using him in slot 1, but even in slot 3, he is going to be getting 40% damage reduction against one enemy, which is awesome, but yeah, in slot 1, he's going to get 60% damage reduction before he attacks, and that's a lot, <laughs> that, that's that's really good. Uh, Lynx, Brainiac, uh, Turtle School, Infighter, Kamehameha, Incredible Adventure, and Guides to Dragon Balls, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Kamehameha, World Tournament, Earthlings, Battle of Wits, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, and Earth Red Fighters. And super attack raises attack for one turn, it causes supreme damage to enemy, and lowers attack. Nice. Now let's talk about Tien, the might of 12 eyes. Uh, leader skill is worthy rivals or world tournament category. Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Passive, key plus 3, uh, attack and defense plus 100%. Launches 3 additional attacks, each of which has a high chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 100%. When performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 44% within the same turn. With each super attack performed, high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when facing only one enemy. Um, not as impressive to me as the Krillin. I mean, at least... No, no, no. Okay, that's not fair. He's better offensively, no question. Krillin is much better defensively. You guys know I have a preference for defense over offense, but he's going to be getting a lot of super attacks, and that's going to be fun too. That's going to be doing a lot of damage, but his defense, I think, will be... Uh... Actually, I don't, I don't know. His defense is still going to be pretty good because he's getting that additional attack defense with each super attack performed, and he's performing up to five super attacks, actually. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun unit, man. This is also going to be another fun unit to run. This is just a fun release, in my opinion. Like, this whole batch is going to be really fun to use. Uh, Crane School. Oh, Lynx. Crane School. Cold Judgment. Inviter. Uh, Shocking Speed. Incredible Adventure. Guide us to Dragon Balls. A Fierce Battle. And categories are Worthy Rivals, World Tournament, Earthlings, Bond of Friendship, and Earth Bread Fighters. And Super Attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and uh, medium chance of stunning the enemy. And that takes us back to the beginning, where we have the animations. So I think I'll just play these animations for you guys while I sign out. But uh, to give you guys my uh, overall thoughts of these characters, I think Goku and Piccolo Jr. are both awesome. I definitely want to pull both of them. 
And uh, between the two side units, I mean, I, I, I would prefer to get Krillin, if I'm being honest, but I really want both, realistically. Both of them look fantastic. Both of them look very, very usable and fun to run, so... Um, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked for this release. I'm stoked for the World Tournament team now actually being relevant. That's kind of crazy. That World Tournament is going to be a at least medium to top tier team after this uh, celebration. And we still got the LR in part two, right? So that's going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about all four units, especially the Goku and Piccolo Jr. Let me know if you're excited for their release. They're coming out in like less than 12 hours from now. So uh, expect from summons, expect some summons from me, absolutely. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you that made it to the end of this long ass video, congratulations, pat yourself on the back and thank you for the support. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.